killing them. So I'll have to see huh. how he does this game. All right, yeah, definitely keep us updated on that. I believe, again, TDM's up one nothing there, but mm -hmm. who knows? Who knows? Maybe D-O-N-D will make a comeback. Uh, anyways, we got our match to worry about, uh, and it looks like game number one has actually started. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's actually take a look. Let's jump into game number one here. Team Excellent taking on TT Esports. So there we go. Excellent on the Legion side. TT Esports on the Hellborn side. Uh, the Blind Bands, I did have to clear my chat real quick. Oh, there you go. Keeper the Forest Ophelia coming out from Excellent. Fade Tempest from uh, TT Esports. So nothing too radical there by any means. But again, no Wild Soul. And sure enough, locked up right away. Legionnaire Luna to follow are it we, up. But. Are we going to see the Moon Queen locked in response to Wild Soul as well, trying to get one? Or are they going to say, hey, we don't care if you take Wild Soul. We just don't want Moon Queen to be in the game, giving the option of first picking it. And we're just going to go with a more aggressive team. Yeah. So that's on uh, Leon Black, of course, here. The uh, captain over here right now for TT Esports. Pew, the captain for Team Excellent, locking up that Wild Soul first. And, you know, may maybe he will even choose to lock up the Moon Queen, uh, give another option, or maybe make that tempting. But um, there's a Wretched Hag and a Pharaoh coming out, actually. So going to throw those couple of heroes in there. Now, going to get into that question. Will it be maybe that Moon Queen, or will it be just oh. something else? When you see Legionnaire, what do you think for TTS? They're picking it. Well, yeah, because <laughs> that's one of Trolfmador's favors. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that and, uh, you know, take out a lot, look at all the jungle bands. I mean, we had Keeper, Ophelia, Fade, and Tempest. Well, not Fade, obviously, but Tempest in there as well. So there is still Paris. I'll most likely get banned up, though, here. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. he, he Trolfmador has stressed that, that, you know, Legionnaire is kind of a, uh, he is a powerful hero. And, uh, you also mentioned, by the way, uh, why Talaba is, again, stepping out for this game. Cheese Helmet, a.k.a. Heimer, he has stepped in this game. So Right, which leans even more towards Trolf playing that jungle, playing that Legionnaire. Yep, true. Yeah, Cheese Helmet, of course, is their carry player as of late. So perhaps Trolf will step in that jungle role. We'll have to wait and see, though. Zephyr, Moon Queen, Parasite, Jeraziah, Plague Rider, and Nymphora are the bands coming out here. Of course, Master of Arms was the final lock, by the way. But now we got the first pick coming up. Is it anything obvious? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Pebbles is on the board, however. <laughs> the raw highlighted by the shadow blade in the center. Oh, of course. What's a revenant? No, no. Revenant. I know Trolf loves revenant, though. Yes, he does. That's also, he That's does. another one of those. <laughs> a lot of different hero specialties on that team, man, and mm -hmm. eccentric ones at that. Gravekeeper, I know. Yeah, the, the gravekeeper is revenant. There's Amon Ra and Heimer Artillery. Just the, the list goes on. Amon Ra, really? We would never. Amon Ra is one of Hyper's favorites, and I picked it for him once. He 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 did a lot of work with it, and I know okay. a couple other players I talked to on the scene actually feel like Amon Ra is underrated. But uh -huh. ooh, yeah. engineer first pick, but they did give them a rally pebbles as ooh Deadwood also still was on the board actually. So Deadwood though the first response here from Team Excellent. Yeah, uh, both teams picking very fast here. Yeah. Not thinking uh, too much about it. But yeah, definitely getting that, that double uh, aggression in that sense of the rally pebbles. But the Deadwood response still, so that option was at least left open for Team Excellent. They're going to finish off here. Suicide here. I mean, they, they're probably, I mean, they're not going to... Unless they want to go like a Warbeast jungle, but... Right, I mean, this is the Wild Soul if they want to Suicide, or you, I guess you could always Wild Soul jungle as well. I don't really expect to see a team like Excellent running that. I mean, they might not even run Wild Soul, period, mm -hmm. <laughs> for all I know. So they could okay. just go for a short laner here. No, he is thinking about it. Starting to dip into that extra time here. Tremble. Yeah. Ooh, tremble. Yeah, couldn't have uh, predicted that one. I mean, the heroes picked it up so rarely that... Ooh, Nomad in response! Well, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, Nomad, if we see a Wild Soul here, you, you know that matchup? Well, I've seen it before, and I've seen Nomad actually come out ahead as far as creep kills are concerned. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, i got to assume that's what that was for, and you do see a swap to Trapador right there, whether or not you play it. but um, I don't necessarily know if they're going Wild Soul, though. Like, that's it's thing, not what yeah. I think of when I think of Team Excellent. Well, that and then, especially with that Nomad pick, I mean, I'm sure Pew and the team is, is aware that maybe that's why they're doing that, so do we even go out? So now is the question, so. Maybe they'll go something like that Legionnaire instead. No, probably not. Master of Arms? They've ran Legionnaire it. before. I mean, they, the Zens was playing it when I played against them. They could very well choose to go it here, uh, knowing that TTS might want it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, actually, if TTE... No, they wouldn't do that. Never mind. Well, I mean, they can always jungle. Okay, they go with the Wild Soul. So they can always... Trolf can play Jungle Wild Soul or something if he needs to as well. Yeah. Okay, MOA Aluna. There's things off. Not Legionnaire. Not going the Legio route this game. Want to, uh... This... See, oh, I was going to say, but the, now the thing is, are we going to see that Jungle Wild Soul here? And it will, uh, with that Feral final pick, I honestly assume we are. As uh, we'll probably see from Team Excellent. So that that does one of two things. One, it's, you know, a lot of people here like Feral, you can run him suicide instead. But then also, you don't have to worry about matching up against uh, that Nomad, which has been proven to dominate a Wild Soul. Right. Well, you better hope they don't go aggressive on you, though, when you want a Wild Soul suicide, because very little you can actually do to help your team out in that situation. This is interesting. I mean, are they going to run Master as a sort of a secondary support? Because I know Rally's going to need the farm. That's Japans. He's not playing a game where he's yeah. He's definitely playing farmer there. I guess he's playing secondary support huh. on Cheese Helmet. That you know, I, I didn't really predict that happening. That sort of changed up how I viewed the draft. Yeah, yeah. Trophimador is going to be playing the Nomad here. Uh, right off the bat, you do see four to the five heroes going straight towards the bottom lane. Master of Arms, he picks up a duck boot, uh, but he also gets the regen, a mana potion, health potion on top, and I think he upgraded something, so or maybe got a ward for somebody else. But um, so I assume he is going to be a support. Still may just go for the Energizer, of course, but yeah, probably is. Yeah, it's a little bit. Earlier there, I mean, you might say, oh, we should go totems instead. They're cheaper. He's going to build a power supply anyway, but yeah, just going for what the... the... What the... What is this? This is Tremble? Oh, is it the this? Groundhog skin? Yeah. What the... It's the Groundhog skin. I that don't looks nothing like Tremble. What the hell? I know. It doesn't look... That, that, that's one of those skins <laughs> I brought when we were talking about, oh, skins, as long as you can tell what hero it is. For for Tremble, that just... It, it's really awkward. That it's, is... Huh. It is very awkward. That's like, yeah, that that looks like a new hero to me. That <laughs> it's not. That, that's tremble. What the? F well, the mound's down. Yeah, and he burrows in. He's got the shovel. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I kind of get that. Oh, I wonder what his pet looks like actually. Yeah, that's that's also gonna hit me interesting to see. Uh, Cause yeah, that's the first time I'm seeing it. So. Oh, his anyway. pet is funny. If you haven't seen it before, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't spoil it. I want to see what Boris looks like. Um, all right, but okay, so we got the lanes here. What, what do we see? What, what's going on? Um, Wild Soul is going to be in the jungle, it looks like. P being played by Pew, by the way. Interesting. Pew was uh, the empath last game, so. Going to Wild Soul this game, though. Um, you got Pharaoh short lane. That leaves uh, Tremble solo mid, and you got an aggressive dual lane top lane. Deadwood Engineer up here, so. Interesting laning phase, but here's that aggressive trial lane. Pebbles, Master of Arms, Aluna. We'll see how good that works for uh, TT Esports, of course. Yeah, not able to get that first uh, Warlock kill at the tower, but he should be fine here. He pulled it back. A few free CS here. It's pretty hard for Nomad to screw these up. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, it, it, this is definitely turning out to be an interesting laning phase, actually. These matchups here. So, you got Engineer Deadwood against your, your, uh, your Nomad here. Now, Nomad, again, with that. Uh, with a Mirage Strike, can uh, definitely can get some creep kills here. The hatchet on top of that. He he did get pulled region. It looks like going to take a keg stun right there, but obviously not. Yeah, well, uh, outside of this, the, he didn't obviously didn't get that much damage, but the keg stun was good. Then I didn't two CS there. Mm -hmm. Um, just a side note, I don't know if it's real or not, but I, apparently OTP might be done as a team. <laughs> Yeah, just, uh, I like how you just bust that out all of a sudden. Like. Yeah, no, I mean, I saw it come up. I didn't mean to mention that. Okay. I mean, yeah, OTP might actually be done. As in, it will... After today. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Well, because I, I know, obviously, there was a whole Trafendor situation. And right. Just... They, they made the post how, you know, there were... No, but I mean, the follow-up, like, where it's all but... going, I guess they decided as of just a second ago that they're done. We'll see. Well... Yeah. Well, we'll know by this weekend, put it that way, because they are they are still in diamond. So, I, I find that, uh, anyways, yeah. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll see. Pretty sure. Anyway, moving forward. <laughs> moving forward. Positive, positive. Back to this. Game. Positive. Well, uh, this this nomad uh, actually not doing that bad up here in CS. He's sitting at 200 GPM so far. Yeah. Uh, pretty damn, pretty damn solid actually. If we're going up against a dual lane. But ever since they made that buff to the Wanderer skill, I mean, I've been curious to see the hero played more. He's received a 
you know, a couple little bits of playtime, he's done fairly well. Mm -hmm. uh, I know he was definitely just crushing a lot of the games I played with him, but... Uh, it... Hellflowers, uh, sheeps, things like that he's very vulnerable to, but, yeah. I mean, still a very powerful hero. Also good against Deadwood. Yeah. Um, obviously, the the counter or the edge counter it can be a very good tool to use in, in a lot of cases. And then the Sandstorm, I think, was the big buff that Trop specifically loved to talk about, how um, the fact that it gives more movement for your team and whatnot, mm -hmm. it, it makes him more of a team utility hero in that sense, too. So um, Right. Yeah, that's benefits. I mean, in this laning phase, he's, as I kind of expected, using that Mirage Strike quite a bit, both to harass and even get some creep kills in here. So, yeah, you mentioned his farm, not bad, and 9-0 um, and 0 currently, but not the best at the same time. Speaking of other lanes, how are, how are other things going? What do we got down here with Pebbles? Pebbles is a good old 15-10 and 10 against your 2-0 Pharaoh. So, they're boxing out Pharaoh pretty well, it seems like. Right, and that's what I was trying to do, is compare Nomad more to another hero in this situation. Were it a Richard Hack, were it someone that would get totally shut out, would be in. He's, he is actually keeping up, so. Mm -hmm. I see Aluna kind of roaming around the backside. They do have an aggressive ward of sight here on the on the river, and actually he's going to run into Wild Soul right here, so just scouting him out, really. And seeing what he's doing in the jungle, and just like that, ooh, may kill Boo Boo, actually. The power throw, yes, it does snap out Boo Boo, so. Get some nice little bounty right there, and also puts uh, Boo Boo on the cooldown. Uh oh, the that? groundhog man, it's laying out the slow. What the? F oh yeah, here we go. He's putting in the auto attacks on Luna right there. The bear is chasing. He does have entangle. No, the compel comes out though, and it will be enough to get away. The entangle going out right there. The rally actually tremble still blocking. Gonna go back into the Luna, not just yet. Obviously not level six yet either, so doesn't have that Boris. But uh, good pressure at least coming out right there from Tremble. Yeah, great play for sure. Um. Just trying to get the update here. Okay, yeah, he, he's he's leveling up really effectively too. I mean, they're really not able to box him out here. That the nomad being extremely tricky. Mm -hmm. um, how is the CS in the? Okay, Rally is definitely beating out the Trumble. Yeah. Ooh, kicks I'm missing right there. Uh, what what are we at? Rally Trumble's 19 and four. Rally's 23 and six. Yeah, Aluna's kind of yeah, adjusted. Yeah. So. Yeah. Makes it a little bit more difficult on him, of course. Wild Soul again. He's not. He can jungle by all means, but it's uh, he, he has one of the slower jungles, I think it's safe to say, compared to the other junglers right now. Is that a uh, statement? Yeah, he's not going to, like, he's not horribly slow, but he's not going to, I mean, he's received a lot of harass, and that's why he's level 3 in 5 minutes. Yeah. I mean, he still has to hit level 6 in a respectable time. Uh, right now, just, yeah, under opposition, he does crumble a bit. We'll keep an eye on that and uh, Pew's farm here. He doesn't have any items on himself currently. Yeah, it's actually pulling up 800 well, gold. So it's it's kind of like I said. If he if they go aggressive, like you see his dual lane on bottom, Wild Soul can do nothing about it. Oh, it definitely only increases. Hurts the first time. No, Matt dead. <laughs> I just I I kind of got that halfway through, but uh, he he had used the edge counter. I don't know if it actually went off though. To try to maybe catch them there, but engineer came roaming over too and. Um, eventually got the blow those kill. So Travelmutter was doing a good job on Creep Farm. Or at least somewhat good, but it gets taken out. We want the bottom lane. Pharaoh in a little bit of trouble. Getting dove on big time. The wall comes out. It doesn't matter though, will it? Moraine is now taking that tower damage. Still taking it. Oh, it's still on him. Wow, finally falling off. But he is... Okay, he's going to try to run back. And the tower aggroes him again. And... <laughs> oh my god. That is ridiculous. That was close. Oh man. Yeah, well he nearly died. He would have been, I would have been so mad if I dropped him there. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's Boris, really? <laughs> it just died right there, but... Oh, did it die? Yeah, it was like this little machine. Oh, double damage rally, that would... Yeah, yeah. it's a <laughs> little tank or something. Kind of took it out. Oh, he just got it, it seems like. That sucks. Yep. <laughs> it's oh, he's double cool. damage rune. Yeah, let's be careful. I think it'll be fun in the end, though. Oh, oh Feral oh. get at the bottom lane. Zin's in trouble once again. Shuck out from Pebbles. The follow-up from everyone else. And Cheese Summit actually on Master of Arms. Uh, gets credit for the kill, so. This bottom lane definitely starting to pick up here. Pebbles farm up to 354 gold per minute now. Looking much better here. Deadwood is top in the game, though. Nearly 400 gold per minute. He is uh, obviously working off. He got the Bloodless kill, right? Yeah, he got the Bloodless kill, so. Working off of that, as well as some very good creep farm himself, 42 and 10. It's actually right now the best, uh, most creep kills in the game, actually. So. Yeah. Well, both spells, the the Deadwood that I would punch. I mean, the the keg coming out from Engineer, he can sort of edge counter that fairly easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, and actually, okay, never mind. 
Might have turned to initiate right there, but going to be fine. <laughs> again, Boris is out, but Boris is actually going to die again right here. What? It doesn't, yeah. It, we Boris is continuing to be here in the middle lane with him. He's not really sending it anywhere. Usually you like to see Trembles do that, so. Yeah, that's hard to stack. Well, he has someone in the woods here, too, uh, that is taking up a lot <laughs> of the farm. And Yeah. <sighs> Oh, Pharaoh running into a horrible spot right here. He puts the mummy wall up. The Hellfire is down. Wildsoul coming over. Of course, can't do too much here. Unless he maybe gets an Entangle proc onto a Luna, but not going to happen. Going to go for Rally. Not going to happen either. So at least it will scare them off and uh, keeps Pharaoh alive for the time being. But uh, Oh, no. The the ward coming out from Land Black. And a spot off the ward that Bunko just placed down right next to it. And they're looking like they want to go back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hayes Druin actually on a Rally right here. He has a Compel. There's a Compel. The Seismic Slam, not even necessary. The final auto attack will finish him off. Jeppin's getting credit right there. And uh, going to continue to move, actually. He still has a haste stream for another 13 seconds. Again, still has a seismic slam on top of that. And Tremble may need to be careful right here. Not going to dive in, though. The mount's just a little bit too powerful. And he will be able to make his escape. So staying alive. Ooh, wow. No man nearly died, by the way. Falcon Punch was used. Didn't get the kill, though. <laughs> All Edge Counter also used in response. So yeah. I'm sure that no doubt had something to do with him surviving. Uh, still hanging in there, but hanging in there a lot. Look at Pharaoh's creep kill account, man. Look at Nomads. Three and one. You got Nomad at 29 and six. Yeah, Nomad's doing better. Yeah, <laughs> uh, to say the least. Ooh, wow, it's still getting picked off there. Just trying to do his own thing in the jungle, damn it. And they're not going to let him. Aluna's just been constantly harassing him, really. Mm -hmm. I've even seen her snipe like, some neutral kills from him. That's got to be frustrating. Yeah, Master of Arms here, the highest amount of kills and assists in the game, being part of every single kill mm -hmm. at 2-0 and 2. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Master of Arms, yeah. 2-0 oh and 2, he bit, went those duck boots first. Like I said, he's going to finish the steam boots probably right here. There we go. That's really good. Five yeah. minutes, sure. Secondary support. Not doing shabby. And then, of course, there's the Pebbles leading the way, continuing to do so. Now, Dewa does stay on top, and he is getting closer to that portal key. Remember, Fibeli, the one that played Pebbles last game, and uh, he got a very, very early portal key that game as well. So, going to do something similar here, it looks like, on uh, on Deadwood, who can be just as powerful, obviously. Yeah, both these Pebbles sort of went in the aggressive lane, didn't they? Uh, yeah, they did. That they did. Wild Soul just can't uh, can't have the start, man. He is struggling here. Yeah, I feel like it's awkward to just have to wild had to have Wild Soul and Trumbull. I feel like that's you're not gonna have nearly enough team fight to deal with a lineup like Hellborn. Yeah. Not uh, not up again much, but just gonna keep trying to persevere. He actually ooh, he's going for Alchemist Bones, it looks like by the way. Interesting. On the wild, yeah, yeah I should probably figure he <laughs> it's gonna be a long road anyway. Yeah. If they're gonna get the game, they're gonna have to bank on the ultra late. <laughs> Needs to recover somehow. I think it's. I guess it's okay. Yeah. It's been a tough game. Uh, B Star just de delivered it to Tremble, so trying to bulk up even more there. You see that earlier on, Helm of the Black Legion for him. Um, yeah. But, yeah, you know, uh, it's, I talked about this, though. It's uh, Tremble players, usually when we do see Tremble, you know, most recently KZ played it quite a lot for State Green. That's been a while now, but, anyways, when he did. It, the, very, the active play, using that Boris to help set up ganks, you know, moving around yourself even. We do see a kill end up happening on a Feral right there. It's actually now Treble is some trouble. He's uh, going to get stunned initially, but he'll be fine, it looks like, in the end. As the Illusions are diving, actually, maybe he won't be. Aluna coming in. There's a Pebbles follow up with that new portal key. And down he goes. Moravis actually ends up with a double tap right there as he'll screw it on out, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, usually see that sort of run around, try to get kill stuff. That you know, Pharaoh wasn't winning his lane. Trumbull's not going to gank his own lane. The only other attempt was maybe onto the Nomad there. If they got some true sight out, maybe the Boris could have came behind, laid down a net, uh, started getting those mounds down. But yeah, it didn't really have the impact in this particular game. He's going to get to helm the Black Legion eventually. But you know, those are two heroes where th their con contribution to the fight, the Wild Soul and the Trumbull, is purely just based on. Oh, meanwhile, we got the. Uh, Engineer getting picked off here by the Master and Rally combination. Yeah, I was watching it. Just didn't chance. So, yeah. So anyway, going back to that, it's like, okay, the, their damage output is just very much straight. They need to right-click on heroes. Neither one of them is having a fantastic start. I, I just don't see them being able to contend. Yeah. I mean, if, if there's any route, it's getting that portal key here on Deadwood, which he just got. He's going to jump Nomad. Will it be never the kill? No, the counter coming up from Pebbles. Now, the ultimate, the edge counter used by Nomad, but I think the Pebbles on mine has stopped at, if anything. But now Dead was on the run with the clear cutting. Good to use his bottle charges. He's still being chased, though. Pebbles using the mana potion, even trying to help him out a little bit. But the clear cutting will ultimately help Deadwood get away. Wow. Neither side getting a kill right there. Holy crap. 
as Deadwood and Pebbles both jump in. So, is that a Helm of the Black Legion finished on Nomad? I feel like he should have more gold than he does. Uh, He's down to 100. He had to have bought in something. I didn't oh yeah, see quite what? Of course, it has to. I'm sure it is a beast heart. There's no way. Yeah, he's that low. He died. He's probably 224 gold per minute. Yeah, he probably has his home with the Black Legion. We'll see if he picks up. Maybe it gets back to base. Pharaoh in the meantime at the bottom line. Good Wrath of the Pharaoh right there, trying to somehow stay alive. But the double damage rally is just way too strong, as he also has his own home with the Black Legion. As you see right there, I end with the Ghost Marchers and the bottle on top of that. So this this really this roam coming out, man, from TT Esports is really starting to be effective here. Oh, nice kegs down though. Boris is out as well. Luna's gonna end up falling. It looks like Fort Lightning hitting several heroes. Deadwood joins the party. Rotten grass. No, a nice compel coming out from Rally. It saves Master of Arms right there. He's on the run. Rally just gonna stand his ground now. Say, come at me, bro. He's gonna take it and take it right there. In the meantime, Pebbles in the background takes out Treble right there. Now going for Deadwood. You see the sandstorm coming out from Nomad. Da -da 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 -da. Anyways, Feral now running away. Using that Hellfire, in comes the Mirage Strike, and down it goes Pharaoh. Devil jumping back in, Falcon Punch on a Master of Arms, but now he puts himself in a horrible spot. Look at that burst from Nomad. Not going to be enough for the kill, actually, but Pebbles will clean up. And now Wild Soul's like, well, I'm Wild Soul. I don't have ulti form yet. Uh, what am I going to do? He dies too. Double tap for Moravis to finish it. Right, Engineer is still sitting at level 5 too, not even having the potential awesome turnaround of that ultimate. Just really nothing they can do. As long as TTS shows up to the fight, uh, there's no surprise factor here, man. The Pharaoh has no farm at all. He's a minimal contribution to a fight at best. Deadwood can only take out one target, and they're all getting pretty damn tanky now. Helm the Black Legion, you know, Pebbles and Rally inherently tanky in their own right. Master of Arms is shield. So really, they have they have zero things going for them in this game. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. I, it, it sucks. I hate to say that, but you're, you're right. I mean, this is looking very ugly. Oh my god. Tremble in the middle lane. He's like, what just happened to me? He's just sitting there on his mound, enjoying himself, and they completely ruined the party. Oh, nice sun coming out from Rally. I feel bad for Bunko Chess. There's nothing he can do, man. They're under farm. They don't have boots on three heroes. Uh, the momentum is in full swing. Oh, jeez. I mean, probably. even this support rally, man. Master of Arms, man. He's sitting at almost 200. It's... it's. Yeah. And again, it's, it's Team Excellent. Uh, we, we haven't... I don't think we've ever really cast these guys, at least with this roster. And we do see the vote to concede at 15 loss. minutes. Again, not not that surprising with the way that game was going. It, it was getting out of hand fairly quickly. So... Um, Team X, in the first game especially, they did look very good. And that was a very damn entertaining first game. So, got to get credit there. And, again, this is a team that's been in Diamond now. They've been in for a while. They're 13th overall in Han Tour. They do look pretty good. Um, but, clearly, game number two, the drafting phase, obviously, you could say maybe got out drafted to an extent. And they tried to force the issue with that Wild Soul. Had him play jungle. He couldn't really get much. The treble, the awkwardness there that you talked about. Didn't work right. out in the end. I mean, th those games happened to the best of them even. So, um, yep. But TT Esports, they win and deserving, deservingly so. So that's the other side of it, of course. Yeah, played very, very strong in that game too. I actually, I actually was really impressed by Trolf with that Nomad top lane. Yeah. I don't get to see one v two. I mean, I'd have to watch the matchup more accurate, accurately to see. I just want to see how Nomad normally fares in those situations. But it seems like pretty well that Wanderer allowing him to sneak in a lot of last hits, uh, having a number of escape mechanisms. So mm -hmm. you compare his CS to the Pharaoh, and it was just night and day. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, like I said, that, that Mirage Strike. And again, in the matchup against a Wild Soul Suicide, if they have it, that's why you know it tends to be so powerful. The fact how much harass he can put on the Wild Soul himself and even the Bear did quite a bit of damage to it. So, uh, But even the one versus two, yeah, he, he, he was able to pull through quite well. And yeah, But again, overall, just a great team effort. Moravis got his free farm in the middle lane. It seemed like Jeff was on Rally was doing great, and the supporting cast obviously doing their part as well. So, well, where does that leave us here for the brackets? Of course, that means TTE Sports, they are moving on. Um, let's actually, though, uh, take, take a quick look at the schedule that we have planned here now for this week, really, uh, here on Honcast. So, as you can see on your screen, got a beautiful schedule there. Of course, today, uh, and now going to be coming to a conclusion, but uh, it continues tomorrow, Wednesday, and then Thursday. The, the, uh, the same times at 4 p.m. Uh, <laughs> the, the the same times all those days at 4 p.m. Eastern. That's 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, 2200 Central European time, as you can see. Um, today was round of 16, round of 8 tomorrow, round of 4 the next day, and then the finals on Thursday. So, again, it's you get to the point, and we will know our, our qualifier number two winners. Who Who's going to be going to Thailand? Will it be Complexity? Will it be Trademark Esports? Will it be somebody else even? Who knows? Who knows? So... 
Um, and then again, of course, cycle number seven all begins this weekend with Han Tour Emperor. So the momentum yep. continues <laughs> when it comes <laughs> to coverage, man. There's there's a lot of it. So hopefully sure. you guys are looking forward to it. So, anyways, um, uh, like I said, though, I did actually refresh the back brackets right here. Mm -hmm. Let me see if there's any updates. TDM did feed Doberon Damp, so <laughs> Do Doberon Damp wasn't able to pull through with their uh, crazy strategy, crazy, unfortunately. Crazy blitz back, yeah. <laughs> uh, Lions took out Justice League, it looks like, and that's the former Q Squad 777 team. Uh, Complexity takes out SmackDown Syndrome. Pikachu and We Are Spies still in the series, one nothing, And then the Q Squad and the Freights down there, we already talked about having their results, so that's how things are shaping up so Pretty far. Much as expected. Yeah, no, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy when it comes to upsets. Again, the Absolute Legends pencils being a forfeit sucks, but it happens. Yep, yep. Um, but as as this event now especially moves on, it's going to be getting better and better, as you would expect, man. So, Well, any uh, any final words from yourself today, Emperor? Nah, I think uh, TTS showed that they were a lot more comfortable with uh, Trolf playing than really mm -hmm. that OTP fit did. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it before, that might be the home that he winds up staying with. Uh, if anything, I think this uh, this coming Hontor cycle will be really exciting to watch. I think rosters are locked after this, so Trollfimador is pretty much in there. <laughs> uh, no, no, no more team switching after this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's uh, that, that's uh, and like, like like we talked about though. I really think this is actually a home for him that could, that could fit pretty comfortable and yeah, you know I fit agree. up very well. It seems like also like decent timing. Enzo just quitting the team, and you know he could step in. Fits that very good role in that sense. So. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It, uh, and you know, hopefully, for their sake, it does work out. Because TT Esports, speaking of them, actually, uh, where are they in the standings right now? They're actually sixth place overall. I mean, <laughs> they're in a very good spot right there. So they're they're still playing by all means for the grand finals, of course, with Hantu, right. and even winning this qualifier, uh, especially with this roster that they have. So right, that is on the line too. Anyways, I think it is time to wrap things up here for today. So definitely had an entertaining series for the most part. But in the end, TT Esports takes out Team Excellent two games nothing. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, was a blast as always. But look forward to it continuing tomorrow with a round of eight matchup. Um, starting at, again, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, 2200 Central European time. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.